will be in here back with another tutorial today we're actually going to look into Altus life since this is my first video ever posting on youtube uh, it's going to be a little about scripting your server and how you actually implement new things into your server so uh the thing we're going to look into now is actually if you open your folder in our 3 or your Altus life folder uh, this is the little back of, of mine server uh, we actually gonna just open it up I'm not going to show you everything in here but we're going to start with this simple thing uh, so like today we're actually going to look uh, into this uh, how you actually implement your own skins for textures uh, for your civilians into the clothing store and actually uh, how you implement them and um, how you actually you can reskin them uh, put them in, into the original t-shirts or um, uniforms that's original in Altus Life by Tonic. So uh, first you're going to actually open your version home. This is actually how it's going to look with the Altus and the Altus um, Lifer. You open this one here. This is actually the one we're using for Expendable Gaming. Um, you can check that out at expendablegaming.weebly.com um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description so you can go in there and check out how that is. So the thing you should actually do here is you can open the texture file here. Uh, this is this is our server. We're gonna have a lot of the one you're gonna start with is probably just the medic and the slice uniform. This one here. It's not gonna look like this one. This is actually the one we're using now. But you're probably gonna start with uh, something different. So uh, the thing is, you can go into Civ skins. This is actually where I put my uh, skins. So uh, this is actually different. We have for expendable gaming. You see our custom, custom um, civilian clothing here. So this is what we're actually going to do today. Is uh, looking into how you actually implement this ones to replace the old textures. So if you just go back to you enter the uh, code folder it's going to be the altus folder so you press this one here it's going to come in here you press the code folder here and you're actually going to open the one called config and here is the important part you're going to actually just make one just going to press here and you're actually going to go in and open i would suggest you download notepad plus plus if you don't have that i'm going to leave a link in the description you can download that uh, so if you open this, you're just going to open this file here, when you made it. Um, what you actually can do, you just open it. Um, it's it's going to leave you with this. Um, so the thing is actually important here, is you um, keep this here. Um, so you just implement this uh, file here. That means uh, this is actually the script that has for us. So this is actually the one that is in link it to the folder you we have over there so let's see here and um, the script has says that the um, this uniforms and if you look down this is backpacks like the, um, the backpack player so the thing is if you look into this script here you see I've, I've duplicated this script a lot of times down up here this is actually says that the civil for if the player side is civilian I mean, it's for sips, and it's, if it's a uniform, it's going to be this one, this uniform here. That's actually if you open one, if you actually go back, uh, you can just stay in. If you go to the Bruce clothing store and open that one in Opera Plus, it's going to look like this. You can like this, see it looks like this right here. This is the same one as we had in the other one. This one is Hello Kitty for me, and you can actually see that this one is actually made for the Hello Kitty. So it's, here it says, then you get the play object texture global is going to be the texture sim skin and Hello Kitty dot jpg. The same thing is actually in the um, that means when someone buys that T-shirt that um, this one here. In the store the texture here is going to appear on it not the original one that's on it so 
if you actually close this one here, uh, you can actually go in and um, yeah, this is actually finished. It's really important. So if you don't have um, if you don't have this uh, script, I'm actually gonna implement this one into the description too. So you actually can I'm gonna li not leave the whole thing here because that's not any use of you for you. But I'm gonna actually implement the first thing here. And down to the bottom here, so you're actually gonna have the script. But well, I'm gonna try to remove this. You don't need to be confused by this. So uh, what you actually do now, you can actually go back. You go back here, and you go back to the main screen here. You're actually gonna open the one called function H. Open this one here in Notepad plus plus, and you can end up here. Uh, you're gonna start on the top here. You're just gonna scroll down to find the um, one called config, class config. You scroll down and you have to add this little thing here. That means we activate this one. It means in the core folder, there's a config file, and in that config file, it's gonna be one name class update. As we right here inside the folder core config, and it's here. So it's super, just important you make this one here and in Notepad++ plus plus, just make it here, you just make a new one implement this one here like that's I'm gonna post for you guys and you save this one here go here, save and you just name it here and as a normal file on your desktop and you just drag it in uh, so when you finish this you can close this one here and uh, we actually are ready to do whatever you want so for the next one, we're gonna do a really, really quick thing before we actually end this. Yes, this is the important part. You actually make yourself a JPG file. You can actually, I'm gonna leave this in here for you guys. You can actually just change whatever it's inside of red zone here. Everything is red is actually the one you can change. You can actually change the pens too, but it's a little more advanced and, than the normal ones. So this is actually how you make it. I have a little example here in Photoshop it's the same one and you can actually just it's open here you can just take the red color mark it and just remove it really easy and um, so that's actually how you do it and since you this is really important you remember to link it from here textures and zip scan you just make your own folder name it whatever you want it doesn't really matter as long as it's the same link and the actor you have in this script here. Thank you guys for watching, have a really nice night. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description. And this is Admiral, signing out.